Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Chris over at Gibbs Gaming. Um, I noticed last time I played, or when I was doing the other Let's Plays for this channel, that it wasn't working out very well. Uh, my audio was cutting in and out, that kind of stuff. So I figure what I'll do is I'm going to just restart from the beginning. That way you guys get all the audio, all the little tidbits and tricks and whatnot that I do know of. And we will go from there. So I'm still going to go tank. Still doing the gladiator. That way everything else is still the same. I'm just going to change up my character a little bit. I think this time I'm going to go with a female uh, Ra. So we'll keep doing that. So go there. Let's be the Exala. Uh, I like their sister clan, the Ryan, who leads solita uh, solitary lives hidden behind the savage peaks of Orthrod's eastern reaches. The Exala are free spirits who roam the vast western steep in close-knit tribes, hunting, gathering, and warring as their ancestors have for countless generations. Start off with uh, 23 strength, 20 dex, 22 vite, 20 int, and 18 mind. So, not bad since we're wanting to be a tank. We're getting plenty of vitality and strength. So, whereas the other one is 1922, yeah, so those are more rogue type class right there, uh, a rogue magic kind of thing. Uh, these guys are more the rogue tank, so do that. Uh, when would this girl to be tall? Mm -hmm. Do average here, just right up to 50. 50. Uh, just like in the other video, I will. Uh, I'm gonna skip all of the. Uh, ah, heck, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, I am gonna skip all of the cutscenes. That's the word I was looking for. Jeez, having issues today. Boom. Let's make that tail long, brother. All right, hair choice. Mm, kind of like that one for now. Mm -hmm. mm, I actually like that one. That one looks nice. We're going to change the hair color, obviously. Hmm, nope, that one's better. Ooh, good lord. I know, none of this stuff really matters. Character development, what? Really? <laughs> like, look at this. Doop. Oh, where'd it go? Um... Which one was it? Was it this one? Yeah. From the side, it doesn't look all that bad. But from the front, bro, that is that is a mullet. <laughs> we'll pass on that. Oh, that looks pretty cool. But no, I like I like that one. Na 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 na. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. All right, done. Hair color. Let's get some highlights going up in here. Well, I wonder if we do it the other way around. What if we do... Red with black highlights. Does that look better? Or white highlights? Yeah, there we go. That looks better. Boom. Um, let's see. There's those, those. I like these ones. 
I don't need to change any of that stuff. I like the way it looks. <laughs> oh yeah, let her have purple eyes. That's nice. There we go. All right, looks like we are done with that. Now nah, I don't need to save it. Still gonna go to Gladiator. It's only because, I mean, come on. There's your monk slash pugilist. Just so you guys can see what all she's got. This is the marauder slash warrior. Lancer slash dragoon. Archer bard. Uh, conjurer uh, let's see. No, this is the Conjurer White Mage, Thermoterror's Black Mage, Arcanist, and Scholar. Boom. And then uh, there's also a Summoner, which you can get. Uh, but you have to have this and this, if I remember correctly. Oh, uh, both of, one has to be at 15, the other has to be at 30, if I remember correctly. But we're going with this because I just tanky and keep it the same as the other one. Uh, let's see. Select Ultras. Um, you know what, Diablos is having the bonus XP stuff right now, so let's go to Diablos because that's where my main character is too. XP bonus currently being granted to all new players created on this world. Yes, please. Uh, where's the, oh, there we go. Alright. If you watch my uh, Let's Play over on Final Fantasy, uh, this is going to be a recurring theme with any of my characters, is this Dragon's Bane stuff. So, begin the game with this character? Yes, please. A friend of mine and I were talking about doing some uh, PlayStation stuff. We are talking about doing some Diablo 3 uh, we're going to do hard mode because I think you guys would really enjoy that. Uh, so that, you know, if we die, we die. That's it. We got to start all over. So it's going to make the campaign a little bit tougher for us. And we're thinking about um, bringing in maybe one or two other other players, other, other, other people to play with us so that we can have. Eh, skip this nonsense. Not doing cutscenes. There we go. Uh, simply because what we want to do is um, mouse and keyboard. I'll set all this up later uh, off, cam off camera because I doubt you guys want to see how I set up my controls here. Not to mention the fact that they are currently not really all that important for this little beginning part. Except... Can I skip this one? Can't skip this one. Okay, so while he's talking. Uh, so like I said, we're going to do Diablo 3. We're going to do hard mode. And we're thinking about doing a uh, minimum of two Necromancers. Because we want to do like this just crazy army build for both characters. And just go around. Um, there we go. So that while I'm talking. There we go. So... We, we thought it would be really funny to do that, but at the same time difficult because we're going to be playing in hard mode. 
So we have to be careful to not die, because if we die, we have to start over. Uh, and see if we can beat the entire game uh, in one life, basically. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to be bouncing personally between Final Fantasy XIV now that I've got everything figured out voice control wise and and skip cutscenes. Well, hello text message. I'll deal with you in a minute. Uh, so yeah, we we want to do that. Uh, we we think it would be really cool for you guys. I want to bounce between this and ESO to keep content going for you guys. Uh, I did notice today while I was recording a total of three videos. I've got one rendering right now. I have to upload it in a little while. Uh, I did notice that ESO, for the most part, is a little on the slow side. So, not really sure how well that's going to work. Because I'm playing the new Somerset. And so far, that is just all dialogue. There hasn't been really any combat. Uh... Speaking of dialogue, there we go. Get rid of that. Uh, as you can see, just like before, I have a bunch of mail. I'm getting the bonus XP on this realm. So, do this prereq quest again. Go talk to the gladiators. Then we'll call this video good like we did in the last one. What quest is it? Due diligence. Meh pass homie again like i said a lot of people what they do is they go and they get the little side quests that they know they have to do in town anyway while running around and all that good stuff but because i'm getting the bonus xp and i'm gonna have the helm up to level 10 that gives me another bonus xp and because we're gonna be eating food which gives us a three percent increase to xp not really worth it so we're gonna skip the little non linear quest if i get to a point in the video where i need to do the non-linear quests then yes i will i will go get all the little side quests i have to and i'll record me doing the side quest but for the most part i don't think we're gonna have to so uh just real quick we're gonna run around it says we still have to go to the gladiators guild we have to go get the explanation of the markets but first what we want to do is run all the way up here to the Thermoturge Guild, get their Atheite Shard. Then we're going to go talk to the Gladiators and get all the shards around in there, all the way up to the markets, teleport back, and then get the one outside the hall. And we should have all Atheite Shards. And hopefully, if I'm not a noob in this video, I will actually get all the shards in one go this time. Because in the other video, I didn't. I, for some reason, was a noob and got everything. Where does that door go? Huh. Never been down in there. I got no reason to go down there. So, like a dum-dum, I got everything, started doing this quest here, got all the way to the market, and that was the 838 chart I forgot to grab. <laughs> so, this time, we're not going to forget that. So let's go in here. We're going to go talk to the gladiator real quick. Get that quest. And then finish up with the main storyline stuff. Hello, receptionist. Yes, I want to be a gladiator. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I wish to be a tank. You will give me food, which I like. Join. Yes. Then turn around and come talk to this guy. Hello, lady. No, no. I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch. But I have to. Because I'm accepting becoming a tank. One day, lady, I will have armor that is five times better than yours. Live by the sword. Die by the sword. Yay! Okay. So we run over here. Where'd it go? There it is. Get the Aetherite Shard for here. Let's 
The biggest difference, in my opinion, between this game and, say, uh, Elder Scrolls Online is the fact that there's no add-ons. Uh, I don't think it really takes away from the game, but enhances the game in some ways. And in other ways, it kind of makes it a nightmare. When you're looking for certain things, having add-ons is really good. When you're not looking for certain things, then having add-ons can just be in the way. So... I guess it's a tomato tomato either way you look at it. Uh yeah, I want to go upstairs. Cuz I need to grab the etherite chart here and then the other one and go back downstairs. So, that's honestly between this one and ESO some of the biggest things is the way the travel system is set up. The other thing is is with this game, you can be any class at any time base well i mean once you hit level 10 the first time you can be any class you can be any profession you can be everything and anything in this game on one character you don't really need to make another character for any reason really uh i know there are people that do they level up multiple characters either on the same server or separate servers or you know have two maxed out characters on multiple servers you know whatever the case may be i know people do it because there are things that you have to do per week and they don't like sitting and waiting for an entire week so i can see the upside of that and i can see the downside of that whereas with elder scrolls online if i want to make a tank uh that happens to be a dragon knight then i have to make a dragon knight and he can't be a Nightblade Rogue. He can't be a Sorcerer Healer. He can't be... So, in that regard, this game outclasses that just because of the class system. Whereas with ESO, what I like about it is the fact that it's it's really based on you. It's, it's what race you want to be, what class you want to be. Some races and some classes have better advantages and different disadvantages. I needed to go downstairs. Then other classes. This one, I think at end game, if everyone was, you know, say a, a gladiator in all the same gear, depending on the race you are, I think there's like a two or three percent difference. So honestly, not that important what race you pick. So, I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm completely off and wrong about that. So, I don't. I I think that's how it works with this game. Is I think it was a two or three percent difference, um, on paper anyway, of the differences between races. If all other stats are the same, if you have the same food buff, if you have the same armor, if you have the same weapons, if you have the same enchantments and all that good stuff. If everything is the same, then I believe it was a two or three point difference, uh, percent difference. So not that huge. Whereas in with Elder Scrolls Online, if I'm a Templar tank and I've got a dragon or another Templar tank, but I'm say a Breton who's more designed for magic. And he's a red guard, which is stamina build. Or, you know, more designed for stamina. He's going to be able to outlast me in skills, some skills. Whereas I might outlast him in magical skills. He's going to outlast me in DPS skills. Or he might start off with higher health than I do. You know, something along those lines. You know, so race takes a big part in ESO. So, cutscene, can I skip this one? Yes, I can, thank goodness. Again, if you guys really want to see me do the cutscenes, let me know. I honestly don't know why you would want to sit here and watch the cutscenes. But if you want to see them, let me know. We'll do them, you know. So, let's see. I got all of those. I've got that one I got the ones upstairs so we are only missing one and that is the one right outside the quicksand so we're gonna take the aetherite shard 
And we're going to go back to the plaza. So you got all those. Yep. Then we're going to go grab the last Aetherite Shard, turn this in, and we're going to call this video good so that it will start rendering. And while it's rendering, we are going to make the second Let's Play and a third Let's Play and so forth and so on tonight into tomorrow morning. Simply because I need to redo all of the videos that I had done previously. For the simple fact that I was a noob and didn't know how to do the sound equipment that I have, how to do the video equipment that I have. So all of my videos, there's parts where just the audio cuts out and just you guys can't hear me. And I don't know if it's the way I was recording. There was a conflict between, say, the Steam and the game and the recording stuff. Or if there was just... Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know enough about the programming to be able to even hazard a guess. Other than that, I don't know how to use it. And so it didn't work the way I wanted it to work. So that said, here we go. We've got all of the main storyline now completed. So we got close to home. And see, now it says that we can't start the next one because we are not high enough level, right? So... Let me get this somewhat set up. Uh, that goes there. Sprint goes there. Okay, so that when I do my controls here in a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll go do the gladiator quest. And that should get me from level 2 to close to level uh, 4, I think is what I need for this one. Yeah, level 4. Uh, by killing these plus the turn-in quest plus the bonus XP. And we're going to eat when we are out killing stuff. So, see, now wants me to go way over there to do that. So, I don't even, I even know where I want to go. So, uh, in the next video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to redo the Gladiator first quest. We're going to try and get up to level 5 so we can unlock the Hunting Log, which is right there, which we don't have access to right now, so that we can start hunting down things to get bonus XP and I will explain all that nonsense. I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out of the mail so I can get the stuff that I have for paying for this game for so darn long, even though I'm a complete noob at this game. So we will, we will see, and I will see you guys in the next video. As always, guys, please leave a like, a share, please subscribe it, drop me a comment. If you see something I'm doing wrong or have a way of doing it better, let me know. I'm always open to ideas. But as always, guys, be safe, have fun out there, and we will catch you next time. Bye.